It's summer, it's hot, the bugs are out, and I wanted to make this video to show you not only the apartment that I'm living in, but also the surrounding area. I want to show you some old Japan and some of the historical parts. Alright, without further ado, let's go! Okay, so starting off the tour, we have the Genkan, just like in the other apartment. It's really, really common in Japan. Pretty much every building has it, a place to take off your shoes. Okay, so moving on, we have the little kitchen area. Microwave, fridge, it's got a lot more shelf space, places to put things. Uh, everything's just bigger on it. And it has a fire burner stove, which I didn't have before. Living room is like the best part. I love this room so much. It's really big and spacious uh, for an apartment in Japan, for a single apartment. Uh, the, you got the nice wooden flooring. Um, then you've got like these glass sliding doors, which are really, really cool. In the summer, because it's so hot, I'll keep that open, and then I'll keep the front door open. And uh, I don't get too many bugs or anything coming in here, so it actually works really well. It's super cool, you got a nice cross breeze. You got the big open closet here, um, with all kinds of stuff. I got my games up top, drones, like clothes, jackets. Down here is all my camera stuff and my uh, luggage. Of course I have an air conditioner system, which this is what they usually look like in Japan. Um, and like you, you heat up or cool down rooms individually. Um, they don't usually have like a central air conditioning. You got the remote control on the wall and you can change it to be hot or cold, but I don't really use it all that often when I'm here just by myself. I got this really sweet couch uh, slash futon. So basically during the day you prop it up and it's a couch and then during the night you unfold it and it's your bed um, and they're a little bit different than like North American futons. Uh, cool pillows. Oh man. One of my best friends in Japan gave me this before he left for Australia, so... I, uh... Man... I miss you, Kenji. He's a good man. Uh, here you have... Toilet area. Once again, best room in the house. A uh, shower room, of course. Whatever. And... Yeah, I guess that's about it. So I guess that's about it for the tour. But when I was getting ready to make this video, my landlord came over. And, uh... He randomly asked me if I'd like to take a drive around the uh, surrounding area and just see the different temples that this place has to offer. So, of course I said yeah, and I brought my camera along too, so come on with me, we're gonna go on a little adventure. Let's go see some more of Yamanashi. Oda-san, where are we going today? Oshoji, Oshoji Temple. Uh, in Zen Zenshu, uh, sect of uh, Buddhist temple. Buddhist temple, that has a nice sound to it. Yeah. Is, uh, old, uh, aged so, uh, stone top is uh, like a uh, uh, monk's head. Oh, yes. Uh, it, it works. This temple is a uh, monk's grave. Do you see uh, this uh, man's mouth? Uh, its mouth is open. And its mouth, its mouth was closed. Okay? Hmm. The open is meaning that it begins. And shut the mouth is the end. Hmm. And uh, it's this gate, this gate, the meanings are being and end. It's times like these that I realize the immense respect that I have for this country. I feel like such a small speck in the grand scheme of things. 
Well, thanks so much for watching the video, and I hope to see you guys soon.